Good morning. All right, I'm just gonna throw something out there. I want I want people to understand, and and it should start to become more and more obvious as time goes on. Look, um, if you're on this channel, you probably probably already know. You've probably already seen it by studying, taking an in-depth study of the Word of God. Um, multiple verses I've went over say, "Woe to them who eagerly take in the Word of God and never really grow the roots," meaning you never really take a deep study into the Word, but. The Holy Spirit will show you. And once he reveals to you, like Jesus Christ is the only one that can unroll the scrolls to you through the gift of his Holy Spirit so you can see, so your blindness is healed. And so your deafness, you start to see from the revealing of the Holy Spirit of what this world actually is and what's going on here. So this is mainly for um, friends, family who might tune in once in a blue moon uh, the longer this goes on the more painfully obvious it's going to get um, just like in the days of Noah the world got more and more wicked and wicked as time went on and God finally had enough and passed judgment and he pulled his people to safety he protected them inside the ark when he destroyed the rest of the world poured his judgment out and this is just like the days of Noah. The deception. Jesus, do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. Look, the deception the deception that's going on here is rampant. Um, but I'm not going to get into that. But it's like that frog in that boiling pot. The heat's going to get turned up slowly and slowly and slowly. At first, it's great. He's loving it. But then it gets warmer and warmer and then hotter and hotter. And pretty soon, you're cooked. Look, all through the Bible... Look at Genesis 1.26, the word for image. Read Exodus, the Ten Commandments. Take every word back to its original language. Look at Psalms 82.6. And every verse, every verse I've looked at, every verse I've looked at, taken a deep study into, tells us what our bodies are, what this world is. This world and our bodies are the snare of Satan. We've been trapped here. It was forbidden by God. We've lost our knowledge when we were cast down, thrown out, because we disobeyed our father this is our punishment he's chastising us here um, like I said he reveals his he reveals himself through his creation and he's created everything okay everything so understand that but he did it all for a purpose and for a reason to purify his kingdom and give all his children free will because he loves us that much and if you're in a relationship with someone um, I mean you have to you have to be completely free. They have to be free to make their own decisions and do their own thing. You can't force anything or, or keep anybody in check by fear or retribution or or whatever, you know, by disappointing you, even though we will disappoint. I mean, we're, we're in the flesh, and the flesh is weak and sinful and carnal. All right, so our bodies are a shell, a house, a mansion, a thing a vessel, a merchantman, all these things, right? And, it, and, it, and it's covering, it's, it's a covering for our soul. It's, it's, it's blocked out the light. The darkness has blocked out the light. Men love darkness rather than light. They love this world. They love their bodies. And uh, they don't, they didn't believe the apostles. They didn't believe Christ. They didn't, they rejected it. So much so that they crucified him, killed him, hunted him down, tortured him, put him to death. But these people were all willing because they understood. They understood clearly what their body, they were being spoken to in their own language, their own tongues. So they understood, they knew. And they were indwelt by the Holy Spirit. They had to be, there's the only, that's the only way you can face what's coming. And, um, and here too, it's the only way you're going to be able to face what's coming up. Especially if you're here during the tribu tribulation period. Things are ready. Something big's going to happen real shortly here. I know it. And um, things are going to become painfully, painfully, very painfully obvious what, what they are. And the longer you're here, the more, it, the more obvious it's going to get on what this world actually is. So if you're watching this, just be aware 
Um, and like I said, that mark uh, from a palisade, a, a poke, a pierce, a scratching from a, like a palisade, uh, and the scorpions from the pit. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not going to argue about the duality of things being in the physical and then in the spiritual. But I know what I read in Revelations 9 about the scorpions, the description and uh, tails. It said in character. Um, and, and, and it could be a physical manifestation of that as well. But it said in character of a scorpion's tail, which punctures you and injects something. Something, and it said something that can be seen from a distance. So you're being marked with something. I'm not sure what it is. RFID ID chip, uh, some type of nanotechnology, uh, some type of biometric illuminance, luminances, uh, bioluminescence marker that can identify you from a distance. And it said that right in the Bible. That amazed me. That amazed me when I seen it that clear, that 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 defined when you do a deeper study. Woe to them who eagerly take in the word without taking a deeper study. You just might be deceived. Uh, the strong delusion, I mean, really, I mean, think about it. It's not just the lies of Satan and the deception that's going on. The strong delusion is stronger than you could ever imagine. It's your body. It's this world. It's what it is. So, there's that. Please wake up. Wake up from your slumber and come into the light. Come into the truth. I'm praying for you all. Praying for you all that you do. All right. So there's that. Got to get to work. <laughs> Working my butt off. All right. God bless. Love and respect to everybody. They're just lost. Shine that light that's inside of you. And uh, put forth, pour out God's word. All right, God bless. Great day. Bye.